I'm not a big fan of slow records, but this record just hits the spot. Marilyn McCoo, she was beautiful. God, she was beautiful. She nailed this thing. She nailed it. Nailed the vocals. Number 21 on WBAM survey, the week of November 15, 1972. At number 21, down three notches from number 18, the fifth dimension, If I Can Reach You. It was their last top ten hit. It was written by a guy named Landy McNeil. He was a young songwriter, or maybe it's Randy McNeil, a young songwriter. He sang the song to Marilyn McCoo. He sang it to her. Instead of her listening to the demo of the record, he sang the, he sang the song to her. And he, she, she liked it. She might have liked it too much because uh, when they were recording the song, Marilyn McCoo, she kept amplifying and the producer Bones House said, no, no improvising. Just leave it alone. Let's keep it straight. I'll talk about Bones House in just a minute. And uh, Marilyn McCoo probably got a little frustrated, but still, she managed to bend a couple of notes here and there when she sang, If I Could Reach Her. It is one of her most powerful performances ever. Not a great singer like Aretha Franklin, but boy, she puts her all, she puts her soul into this record. If I could reach you, Marilyn McCoo there, in the fifth dimension, it would be their last top ten hit. Bones Howe, the producer. Sunshine Pop, the associations, he produced them. Well, he produced Wendy and Everything That Touches You by the associations. And he pretty much produced all the fifth dimension hit records, including If I Could Reach You. Bones Howe was a recording engineer. He worked on the Mamas and Papas, California Dreaming, and Monday Monday in 1966 before he transitioned into being a producer. And among the first groups that he produced, The Association and The Fifth Dimension. And here's The Fifth Dimension at number 18 on WBAM Survey with If I Could Reach You. <laughs> 